Take a look around the classroom. Look for those familiar faces that you've seen for years. Now close your eyes and imagine all those faces are gone. You suddenly leave them. You no longer see them at the usual hangouts, nor every day at school. And no, aliens do not mysteriously zap them away onto another galaxy. They're still where they usually are. You were just thrown into a whole new environment. You have no clue who anyone is, and everyone is looking at you like, who the hell is that? Go ahead and open your eyes. For me and my three new best friends, that's how it was on our first day of our junior year. As most of you know, I'm new to Los Lomas this year, transferring all the way from Northgate. Not that far, I know. But the three other people that I mentioned transferred from a little further than just down the Ignatio. It can be really nerve-wracking walking onto a new school campus not knowing anyone, especially coming from a rival school. And as we all know, Northgate and Los Lomas are rivals. This year, however, I learned that another rival school for Los Lomas is Campo. Congrats, Los Lomas. You received another student from another rival school, Erica Von Novick. Um, on the first day of school, I walked into sixth period study hall and saw a girl sitting by herself. So I decided I would go talk to her. Turns out that she was new to Los Lomas this year as well. Lori Fair moved to Walnut Creek from Brentwood, which is a totally different scene than here. So <clears throat> she's had a hard time adjusting. But in my opinion, the girl who's had the hardest time adjusting would be my friend Miranda Ewing. She's moved here from Sandpoint, Idaho. And she's had a hard time not only adjusting to a whole new school, but a whole new state. Let me just put this out here for you guys so you get a feel for how different it was for her. A few weeks ago, we took her to go get Slurpees at 7-Eleven. She had no clue how to work the machine and ended up getting Slurpee throughout the whole entire store. Needless to say, the store clerks thought we were smoking something. <laughs> so most of you have been going to the same school with the same people for years. A few of you might have moved schools when you were younger, like in elementary school or middle school. But with my parents' divorce, I moved around a lot when I was younger. I was always the new girl and found it a breeze because the kids were always so nice and no one judged each other. When we're growing up, we're always welcome to meeting new people. We're very open-minded to the new people and we don't really judge people very much. But as teenagers, on the other hand, are very judgmental and very close-minded. We like to stay in the group that we've known for years and it is hard for us to go out and meet someone new. Now, moving a teenager does not only affect the teenager, it also has its effect on their parent or parents. In the past few months, I've depended more on my mom than I ever have. Usually, I can go to my friends when I need someone to talk to, but my Northgate friends are on a different schedule than me. That should change. Um, and people here at Los Lobos barely know me. So parents really do have to change and adjust to help their teenager prosper in their new environment. Teenagers who move often become extremely depressed and moody. Their family life may become difficult to bear and there might be constant tension. Although this occurs often, it is not always the case. And teenagers eventually do adjust. And they will prosper. Now switching schools may come for many different reasons like your family moving, family problems, friend problems, drama, better academics, being stopped. Whatever the reason may be, you never really know what's going to happen until you try it. And it's always going to be scary. You never know how people are going to see you. That really weird new kid or that super amazingly awesome new kid who everyone wants to be friends with. It's always going to be hard being new. As you can tell, moving comes with its ups and downs. But with the right attitude, anyone can be successful in starting a new school year. <clears throat> starting a new school year can really change someone, but sometimes that changes for the best. I'm happy that, to say that I've met all the amazing people here at Las Lomas and that I've had the pleasure of meeting all the new people here. So thank you.